Hey everyone, it's John Isaiah here from The Automator, and today we got two scripts, and this is a little confusing, like we're covering two scripts in one video, but they're so related, we just thought, let's put it all in one video. Now, yeah. if you're often either sharing your screen or you work with sometimes a high-resolution monitor and you can't see what you're doing, you, you need to adjust your DPI, but it's kind of annoying to go through that hassle to go find that setting and change it for each monitor, so that's what these two scripts do. Um, is make it very easy to swap your DPI on a given monitor, assign to a hotkey. One of them watches where your mouse is. The other one, you just assign it. I want that monitor to change this to be high DPI with this hotkey. So they both have their place uh, depending on what you're doing. Yeah. So basically, here's the thing. Um, this is the display scaling um, script. And... Uh, the idea here is that you have to tell which monitor you want to scale, the setting that you want to have, and the hotkey for that setting. And I guess you can go here to display settings, select the monitor, scroll down to get the correct scaling, and then close this. What we're doing is just we're just making one hotkey to do all the actions for you, and it makes it very simple. So. Um, let me demonstrate what that looks like. So in my case here, you can see that I'm sharing my screen and the text is a little bit small. Um, but if I want to update this, even though the editors allow me to set the text size like this, but notice that nothing else get bigger, like the menus and tabs, they, they didn't change size. And if I open another window, like the Explorer window, everything is going to be small anyways. So what I'm doing with this is setting up the um, the uh, DPI scaling in a way that when I press a button, so let me just do this real quick. Let me. Now I just with one hotkey set the whole size of my whole window, my whole monitor, sorry, to a bigger size, including the menus and smaller text. And if I go to any other program, all of it has been changed. And actually, I can make it bigger. So in my case, if you're a person who is streaming a lot and you're recording the video to go into YouTube, for example, most of the people use watch the videos in a, in a mobile phone and you're sharing your screen and it is a high resolution screen, what's going to happen is that they're not going to be able to read what you're showing. So this is a quick way to switch between them because now I press... Windows 0, for example, Windows Numpad 0, and now it's back to normal. So I can very quickly, especially we do this, Joe and I, we are in a Zoom meeting talking to other people, and I have to explain something. So I just set my DPI to a higher number, explain what I want to explain, and when I stop sharing my screen, I go back to 100 because I don't need it. You know what I mean? So I just do this for other people. So it's very cool. Now, the tool that we're discussing here, one of the things, this is how you create the... Let me, let me go ahead and um, delete these guys. So this is how you tell it how to do it. You have to set up a hotkey. It could be anything, control one, control F1, whatever you want. The only thing is that if you need the window key for your hotkey, then you have to use this check mark here. But usually I just go with simple hotkeys like Windows Numpad zero, for example. Then you have to se select which monitor you want to effect. If you have multiple monitors, you can say monitor one, monitor two, it doesn't matter. Um, and then you set what the scale is. So if you want it 125, 150, and then just add the configuration. That's it. That's all you need to do. And if you need a hotkey for the other monitor instead, then let's do numpad one for the other monitor and at 175, then we just do that one. So we have two hotkeys. Each of them apply to independent monitors. Interestingly enough, here you have one that is the active display, which means that it would apply to wherever your mouse is located. And that's what Joe said. Hey, we have two scripts that do this because, hey, this is kind of like complicated because now you have to select a different monitor for the, what, what if we only want to access the active one? It doesn't matter where, where my mouse is at, that's the one that I want to affect. So we simplified the script this one, you have to pick a monitor or choose the active display if you want to. But if you don't need to be that specific, then we have the other one, which is active monitor scaling. It looks very similar. So when we open it, it's very similar. 
The only difference is you select the hotkeys, the DPI, and it acts on the current monitor where your mouse is located. That's it. it you don't have to pick anything else. It's just the hotkey and what is the setting. That's it. Yeah, and I think, and I understand why you, you generally prefer um, the other one. I like this one because I don't have a go-to monitor that I actually use it on mo most often. So to me, yeah. in my head, I want to move my mouse to wherever and hit one hotkey that I know is that resolution. But right, I right. know from how you do stuff, you have one monitor. When you're sharing your monitor, it's that, it's that one. Right, it's just that right. one. I, I, the mouse. other monitor, I never touched. Right. I never touched the DPI settings on the other monitor. Right. Yep. Right. Now, this is going to sound stupid, but in my head, and I know it's not it, I think of like, oh, a simple way to explain this is you're kind of taking a magnifying glass at what you're doing, right? Yeah. But I know that's not quite it because the surrounding area doesn't disappear. You know what I mean? You don't lose the borders of your screen. It just increases. Everything by, gets bigger. Yeah, the text and even now pictures increase too, right? Like to some degree. Everything, everything, yeah. yeah. It's just, but it's it's a bit complicated to, to truly understand what happens. <laughs> yeah. And basically what you're doing is lowering how many dots or pixels are going to show in a square inch. So if you have a square inch, how many pixels you put in there determines how big the image is going to look like. Because if you put a lot of pixels, the image is going to be very small. But if you put less pixels, then it looks kind of like bigger. That's what's going on. But um, in our case, we don't care about that. We just want a hotkey and make everything bigger. You know, <laughs> like, yeah, just hit this, oh, yeah. everything bigger. Yeah. <laughs> so yeah. that's that's what it's all. And this script has, we use it every every at every meeting that we have. Every right. time I have to share my screen, I do this. So so I'll put a URL up here where you can get um, both these scripts. Yeah. And if you're interested, you know, like these kind of things are the stuff we cover during like our hero groups. Uh, it's it's a great way to learn of, hey, I really wish I had a way to do X, Y, or Z. And that's where Auto Hockey can allow you to, you know, take control of your computer that's and right. get to do what you want. So hope you enjoyed that. Please like the video with a large shot of hockey channel out there. We release videos Tuesdays and Thursdays. And uh, have a great day. Cheers.